Hey guys, this is our new wrapped glycol chiller with Bluetooth. So essentially what it does is it can communicate with our new wrapped uh, temp and glycol controller, which also has Bluetooth. So this will pick up on the signal from your glycol chiller. So it knows what temperature the glycol chiller is at. It also means that if, for instance, I plug in multiple fermenters and one of them is actually heating up the glycol bath, if the glycol bath is too hot, it'll shut down essentially the glycol flow to that particular the, the ferment that you're trying to chill until the glycol chiller catches up, gets up to speed, and then it will open back up when the glycol chiller is down. So having some smart connection between the chiller and also the controller is pretty handy. It also comes with um, this little control panel on the front. So you've got a little digital display there. And then inside here, one pump which feeds up into both of the glycol outputs. So it basically sends glycol liquid to both of these. We don't have the pump cycling on and off to you know, turn the flow on and off to each tank. Essentially that's handled by the glycol controller with this pinch valve on the front here. So uh, the top of the unit also has all the quick link connectors. So these can just dry break. So no leaky glycol everywhere. You just basically push this on and then you join your hoses on. The second thing is the pump, uh, which we have connected as standard on this unit, looks like this. It's just like a little uh, DC 12 volt pump. And that's enough to basically feed multiple uh, of the glycol output lines uh, on the chiller. Uh, of course, you could go back to that old fashioned method and just plug this into a standard temp controller box. So the pump turns on and off to you know, send glycol to the fermenter. But really with the glycol control, it's a lot better because this pinch valve can control the glycol flow, but then you've also got this um, AC output where you can plug a heating belt or element into your fermenter so it can do both the glycol and heating all in one unit on the fermenter and then you get a nice little heads-up display showing the temperature of each fermenter as you've got them lined up next to your chiller.